one of the first items you might want to do is create a new VM once you've logged on to the uh, PHC. So here's a quick demo of how that works. First, you fill out a name, select an operating system from the catalog, uh, which is available to you. Uh, then select which networks you want to use and how you assign IP addresses based on that. And that's it. Click OK, and the VMs get provisioned uh, automatically. We can follow the status in the Recent Tasks menu. And once that's provisioned and ready for you, you can log on to it and have a look in at how it works. In this case, I selected a Windows Server 2019 uh, template that is available in the catalog. We launch a remote count console. And uh, for now, the VM isn't quite ready yet. It needs to finalize its uh, configuration at one last reboot before we can actually log in. But once that part is done and it's restarted, um, you can log in and see if you have a connection to the outside world or your local network in your PHC. So once you've logged on, uh, you can see that it detected a network. It starts a server manager as it usually does with a Windows install. Just close that and then verify network connectivity. I'm um, just doing a simple test here, trying to ping the 1.1.1.1 DNS address. And that works out beautifully. So there you go. That's a VM provisioned in the PHC. Um, also, um, it auto completes or creates or generates a password for you. So if you need that, you can find that in the guest properties. Uh, it's a random one for each and every VM you create. There we go. Thank you.